that better? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yes. And as I'm continuing to talk, just to check in once more, you can still hear me. It's still clear. The music isn't, it's not getting choppy with my voice or is it? Good. Thumbs up. Awesome. Bless. So welcome to the space. Good day, Megan. Yes. Um, hi. Yes. Welcome. Today, we're going to be exploring comedic yoga for the sake of flexibility for the sake of um, sending that unconditional love to our bodies, to ourselves. And I am excited that you're all here. As I was saying before, the doors are officially closed. So it's just gonna be us today. I want you to feel comfortable to make this your own practice. So um, as we go about the movements, check in with your body and do what's best for your body. So if it's okay, if, you know, along the way, what you look like is a little different from what I look like in terms of how the body is um, positioned in terms of flexibility, that's perfectly, this, this, is, this is great. Everyone's gonna be at different levels, different days and such. So embrace yourself throughout. We're gonna go ahead and get started with some cleansing breaths, with a body scan. So I want to invite you to either sit on your mat or you can lay back on your mat, whichever one you feel called to, whichever one you feel called to. And at this time, just beginning to drop into the body and notice what is there. Noticing what is there without the need to label it as good or bad. Just taking in how you're feeling, how you're breathing. And just beginning to become more and more aware of your breath. Of how it feels for your lungs to expand as you inhale. how it feels through the nose when you exhale. And as you're sitting or laying down, just go ahead and find your rooted space. So if you're sitting down, coming up on your sit bones, so even if you have to move a little booty meat to the side, go ahead and do that. And just come to find your grounding, lifting gently, up through the center line of the body like an invisible string of energy is just shooting through your spine, through the center of your head, all the way to infinity. Just finding that gentle alignment. Shoulders released, lower back released, giving a little micro tilt in the pelvis just to take the strain off of the lower back. And as we inhale now, I want to invite you to inhale through the nose, drawing the breath up from the base of your spine, up expanding the space in your ribs, in your lungs, in your heart space, drawing the breath with your imagination all the way up to the crown of your head, hold it for a second and releasing through the mouth one long breath emptying out the lungs. <sighs> Drawing that belly button toward your spine on the exhalations and just continuing just to clear out the air, inhaling through the nose, filling up, creating space in your body, energies rising up the spine to the crown of your head. Exhalation, exhaling through the mouth. One breath, taking your time. <sighs> Continuing to breathe for five more breaths at your own pace. Inhaling through the nose, creating space in the body, sending love to any areas of tension, filling up in the lungs. Pause to savor and on the exhalation, emptying out all of the 
stale energy, all that does not serve. Let this be a symbol of release, of renewal. Maybe you're on your third breath or your fifth breath, just continuing until you get to five complete cleansing breaths with this pattern. Inhaling through the nose, filling up, shoulders released, lower back released, belly button to your spine on the exhalation, just emptying out. And as you're breathing in this way, I want to invite you to set an intention for your practice. And what I mean is not just any old intention, it's a freedom intention. So what is the energy or the feeling that you wish to embody? If you had to put it in a word or a phrase, what would that word or phrase be? Hold it in your heart. Feel it. Hold that word or phrase in your mind. Hold it on your tongue because there's so much power in the word. And if you are called to, I want to invite you to speak it aloud. Even if you're on mute, speak it aloud so that your ears can hear it love and flexibility. We'll be coming back to this freedom intention throughout. Now let's go ahead and transition from a cleansing breath to breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. So here we'll come into a body scan. Bring your awareness to your toes, to the bottoms of your feet, to your ankles, the shin, the calf, the knee joint, just taking it all in, noticing without need for extra words. What is here now? Noticing any areas of tension with your inhalations, fill up these spaces of tension with the intention, the energy of love or appreciation. And with the exhalations, I want to invite you to simply release a little more deeply into the posture. So releasing a little bit more into the mat, letting that energy just, let it be compost. So continuing to breathe at your own pace, bringing the awareness up to the thighs, up to your hips, the base of your spine, your pelvis, your reproductive organs, your lower abdomen, your stomach, your pancreas, your kidneys, lower back. And taking in what's here. Continuing the four part breath, breathing in through the nose, filling up any spaces of tension, creating the space for love. And with the exhalations, just releasing a little more deeply. And at this point, I would like to invite you to close the circuit of your energy so that it may grow strong by bringing the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth. And the easiest spot is right behind your teeth. Just allowing it to rest there, continuing to breathe in through the nose, pausing and breathing out through the nose, pausing before you repeat, bringing your awareness up to the mid back, solar plexus, taking in the liver, taking in the big intestine, the small intestine, 
taking in the lungs, your solar plexus. If I said that before, I'm saying it again. Taking in your shoulders, your heart, your arms, how it feels in the upper arms, the elbows, the wrists, the hands that do so many things. And with your breath, just continuing to breathe in, filling up the spaces that you would like to send a little extra love today with your imagination, just filling them up with the breath and with the exhalation, just letting go. Letting go of the moment before, letting go of any expectation from the outside of how this should look, just allowing yourself to be here now. Continuing the breath and bringing your awareness up through the shoulders to the neck, noticing the collarbone, noticing the jawline, the back of your head, your cheeks, taking it all in, the space behind your eyes, your temples, the space between your brows, your forehead, the very top of your head. And with your awareness, remembering that your awareness is enough, at this moment, you are enough. Just sending any love to any areas of tension that you may find with the remembrance that the breath will allow for the relaxation to take place on its own. And what was your freedom intention again? What was that phrase or that word that you said, that you spoke, that you felt? I want to invite you to flood your entire body from head to toe with that energy with that intention, with love, with appreciation, you may feel it as a warm cascading all the way down. You may feel it as a little shiver. You may feel it however way it comes, even as if it's just a deepening of the breath. And basking in this energy preparing the body for what's to come, preparing the body for all the love is about to get. And at this time, feel free to bring a little bit of movement into your fingers, into your toes, beginning to wake back up the movement, maybe little rotations in the wrists. Maybe that feels good to you. Maybe little rotations in the ankles, hey, maybe that feels good. Maybe stretching out and expanding upward feels good. I wanna invite you to come into some intuitive movement that feels good in your body, some intuitive movement. It can look like an interpretive dance. That is a-okay. This is a no judgment zone right here. Just beginning to listen to your body anew, listening again, noticing in the hips, you need a little rotation. You need a little grounding. What is needed right now? Listen to your body and gift that to your body. <laughs> what is needed right now? what is needed right now. Coming back to the breath, that tongue connection, we're just gonna come into some shoulder rolls, ready, just rolling it up and back, rolling it up toward your ears and back and down away from your ears, rolling it forward, up smooth circles, feeling in your body and reverse it coming up and forward and then down. And if you feel a little more movement, you want to incorporate a little bit more that feels good to you, go ahead and do that. 
coming in to activate the torso. If you feel that you'd like to just rotate around coming forward and back. And however your legs are positioned, just as long as it's comfortable to you, this is comfortable to me. And reverse, just rotating, noticing how the hips are feeling, noticing, taking in the lower back, taking in the fullness of this rotation only as far as you are ready. We're gonna reach over to the left side or whichever side you came to. That's cool. <laughs> Reaching over to one side, only as far as your body is ready. We're going to come all the way up like we're trying to touch the sky with that hand and we're gonna just bring it to the other side, taking your time. And when you're ready, we'll switch. So bringing the other hand to meet, we'll just reach out toward that corner. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> reach up toward the sky and then reach over to that other side. Just get in that range of motion. And from here, you can feel free to expand it out and rotate it out like Soul is doing. Just trusting your body, a little matrix move, low key, <laughs> little, little matrix. Oh, you're just dodging all of the bullets right now. <laughs> Bless. Now I just want to invite you just to bring your feet out in front of you. We're just going to point and flex the toes. We're just giving a little of more of that range of motion in the ankles, a little bit more of that range of motion. And I have my hands behind me because that feels good on me, just trusting your body, sitting up on your sit bones and we'll reverse. So bring it in if you brought it out, reversing, pointing and flexing, point and flex, point and flex. And from here, we're just going to inhale energy rising up the spine, hands come all the way up toward the sky. Finding that realignment, creating the space, shoulders release, belly button to spine, lower back release. And we're going to hinge from the hips, coming forward as far as our bodies are ready. I'm going left or right. And we're just going to bring both hands down toward the mat wherever we found ourselves. And since today is about flexibility, we're going to use the breath to create more space in the body. So inhaling, realigning the spine, shoulders released away from the ears, collarbone, give a little expansion in your heart space, lower back release, the belly button toward the spine. And as you are breathing, on the exhalation, just release a little further into the stretch. So you may come down a little further or your breath is just deepening this so that you're able to release, let go, relax into this challenge. And on the inhalations, just realigning the spine, coming back to that alignment once more, creating the space in the body, sending love to any areas of tension. I'm going to inch my fingers forward a little bit just to give a little extra stretch. And here it's okay if your knees bend a little bit. It's okay. In fact, we're going to bend the knees even more, lifting them up. You can scoop under your knee joints with your hands just to give them a little bit of a lift. Coming into pyramid forward fold, rising up halfway in the torso, creating the space, releasing the shoulders away from the ears on the inhalation and on the exhalation, just bringing your chest toward your thighs, feet, flexed. From here, finding your breath once more, just slide those hands down towards your ankles. And 
elbows out, shoulders released, core toward your belly button, toward your spine, just allowing for the deepening on the exhalation. We'll take one more breath here. Inhale through the nose, energy rising up the spine, all the way to the crown of the head. Pause to savor, to notice, take it in. And on the exhalation, just release a little bit more. Always notice that even if it's a millimeter, you're going a little bit deeper. You're relaxing a little bit further. And now you can go ahead and release your feet. We're going to reach our hands out in front of us. Fingers spread, reaching, feeling that energy, belly button toward the spine to prepare, shoulders released. And we're going to hinge from the hips, rising up to seated fully. Arms at shoulders height, shoulders released away from the ears and on the exhalation, hands come to float down onto the thighs. And feel free to shake it out in your knees. Feel free to shake it out in the knees. And from here, we're going to get some flexibility in the toes. So just coming to a, um, just have my knees bent and I'm just gonna gently shift my weight forward so that my knees can come down in front and my toes are bending at a 90 degree angle. So I'm sitting on my sit bones, sitting on my heels, the sit bones are on my heels. The outsides of the feet are parallel with one another like railroad tracks. So they're not coming, they're not splaying out. You're not messing with your, your ankle joints by splaying them out like this. You're not having them in like this, but the outsides of the feet are parallel so that it can give you that solid foundation. Okay. And as you're sitting, we are activating the acupressure points in the toes that correspond to the brain, the sinuses. And I want to invite you just to breathe into your toes. You don't often stretch this way, so if you feel cold and you would like to have a pillow between your um, bottom and your heels, you can, or if you'd like to have a blanket under your knees, if that feels best to you, make those adjustments because this is your practice. If you are in pain, you should not be. This is a meditative posture of the scribes in ancient Egypt. And so we will take a moment just to honor this stretch in the toes, in the arches of your feet that work so hard with a conscious breath. So inhaling through the nose, energy rising up the spine, pause to savor creating space, sending love and exhaling through the nose, energy dispersing through to the toes, through to the fingertips, through out the body, wherever it's needed. And at your own pace, one more breath here. Releasing in the lower back, shoulders released away from the ears, belly button toward the spine, soft wrists, now we'll inhale, hands float up to shoulders height. And we'll just gently bring them down in front of you just to give a little wiggle in the toes, give a little shake in the ankles. And if that blanket sounds good to you right now for your knees, go ahead and place it there. We're just going to point the toes and lay the tops of the feet down to stretch out in the opposite direction the opposite direction, stretching the heels. So coming back gently to sit 
toward your heels. And if a pillow is right there, go ahead, let it be there. Allow yourself to have whatever you need to feel that relaxation and release. Inhale through the nose, energy rising up the spine. What was that freedom and tension again? And on the exhalation, just allow your body to be flooded with your intention that you set today. That energy, that feeling, head to toe, any areas of tension, just let them be melted away. This is why we send love. One more breath here, inhaling through the nose, collarbone expanded, shoulders released, lower back released. Exhaling through the nose, energy going to all areas that need it. Inhaling, hands come to rise in front of you. And we're going to reach down on the exhalation, give a little movement, a little point and flex in the toes, rotate those ankles, let it go. You did good work. Those areas don't get work the whole lot, but here we go. We just wrote the hieroglyphs, y'all. We just we wrote just, the hieroglyphs. We just wrote, so say we just wrote the hieroglyphs just then. <laughs> and just allow yourself to come to a, we're gonna transition to standing. So however you get there is fine. Big toes are together. Pinky toes, heels, and big toes grounded onto the mat. Just beginning to notice that shift in the weight. It's okay if your knees are bent here, it's okay. We're just beginning to notice what feels best in the body for stability. Here, coming into a forward fold, shoulders released, fingertips near to the floor, or if you have a yoga block that's a little elevated, that is fine, or if you are holding on to your um, thighs or your shins, that's fine as well. We're gonna inhale through the <laughs> nose, as I said, so do it at your own pace, just filling up the body with love, with appreciation, with your intention. And exhale, release a little deeper, drawing those thighs toward your knees. So bend at the knees if that is helpful to you. A little bend in the knee or a deep bend in the knee, just to draw the thighs toward the chest and chest toward the thighs, releasing in the lower back, releasing in the shoulders, Breathing here, you may notice your hamstrings sending love to any areas of tension. Go ahead and inhale, coming up halfway, finding the space, creating the space in your body, making those micro adjustments that feel good to you and release a little deeper. On the next inhalation, reaching your hands in front of you, palms touching. We're going to hinge from the hips and rise all the way up to standing. Taking your time on the next exhalation, we're just exhaling those palms down to heart center. Taking a moment just to see through your hands, the pyramid that your arms are forming. Give thanks, give thanks to your body. And on the next inhalation, fingertips come back up toward the sky. We're just going to release the head and neck back. Be grounded. Breathe here, core tight, belly button toward that spine, lower back released. 
Gaze forward on the inhalation, releasing that micro bend in the neck. Okay, bringing the fingertips together. So your index finger and thumbs to touch. Your arms are going to come out to the sides on the exhalation, bringing the hips forward, reaching up and elongating in the spine. Release your head and neck back. Release your back. And here you're going to want to put some pressure on your lower back. Don't let your body do it. Belly button toward the spine, reaching up and throughout your body, sending love to any areas of tension, drawing those shoulder blades toward one another. One more breath here. You can do this. Take your time. If you need to come up halfway and realign and then come back into the backward bend, do that. And when you rise to release, fingertips come back up to the sky, gaze and head at neutral, forward. Exhaling the hands back down to heart center, palms touching. From here, we're going to reach forward with our fingertips. Like you about to, what kind of dive would this be? I don't even know if this is a swan dive or not. L dive. L dive, he says. <laughs> We're going to just hinge from the hips after we create the space first, right? Releasing in the shoulders, releasing in the lower back, belly button to spine, hinging from the hips. We're grounded, stable in the feet. Big toe, pinky toe, heel is activated. On the exhalation, hinging from the hips, bringing the fingertips toward the floor or the yoga block, or the pillow, or the blankets. Bringing the fingertips to the mat if they reach. Just going as far as you are ready. We're going to use the breath to allow us to go deeper. So inhaling through the nose, noticing the areas of tension, releasing the shoulders away from the ears, grounding in the feet, finding that stability. And with every exhalation, just sinking a little deeper into the forward fold. We back. You thought we left the forward fold, but we back again with the soul train line. Here we go. Breathing in through the nose, shoulders released away from the ears, belly button toward that spine. And we're just coming a little deeper into it, noticing how, how deep you are able to go this time. Sending love to your body. One more breath here. Inhale, energy rising up the spine, all the way up to the center of your head within your brain. Pause the savor, notice, and on the exhalation, just releasing deeper, releasing your neck, releasing your head. You may give a little yes in your neck. You may shake your head, yes. And on the next inhalation, we're going to rise. So bringing the palms to touch, extend it out in front of you, hinging from the hips, belly button toward that spine, rise, flat back, back to standing. Softening in the knees, exhale, hands come down to heart center. So now what we're going to do is we're going to widen our stance a little bit. So bringing the feet, it, it could be the width of your mat or just a little bit in between, just whatever feels good to you. And we're just going to rotate in the hips like we're trying to touch the corners of the room with our hips, all of the corners, every little part of the room, taking it at your pace, what feels good to you. 
Just breathing, inhale, energy rising up the spine, sending love to any areas of tension, sending appreciation to your body. What was your freedom and tension again? And reverse, and reverse, opposite direction. Opening up, just reaching like the energy of your hips is trying to touch every part of this room. Continuing to breathe, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. And now we're going to just make little small circles with the hips. So, I mean, if you, if you, you have ever been to a Caribbean dance party, they may have called this wine. And, and uh, that is okay. We're just gonna open up the sacral region of the spine with these little circles in the hips, opening up the area that generates those new stem cells within our bodies with these little micro rotations. And when you're ready, we're just gonna reverse the directions. And if you wanna add a little extra in there, you can. You want to add a little shoulder if it feels good to be a little bit more fluid in the movements of the rest of your torso or your arms, then go ahead and add it in. This is your practice. Like I said, it's going to look like an interpretive dance or maybe an old school combination of all the things, but do what feels good in your body. Yes. I don't know if you heard that little back crack, but my mom would be proud with her old, uh, with how she used to be a chiropractor. <laughs> She'd be so proud of that back crack. <laughs> Just keep it moving, how it feels. Opening up, opening up, low body roll. Opening up, creating the space, sending love to any areas of tension. Rotate it out, rotate out, smoothing out the circles, smoothing out the circles. Very good. And when you're ready, we're going to inhale up. Sending the energy of our love around ourselves. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now we're going to inhale up, fingertips toward the sky. And I'm gonna widen my stance a little bit and I'm gonna exhale the energy of my spirit, of my love, of my protection around myself. I'm just gonna reach to the opposite wall, lifting up. Core engage, belly button toward that spine, don't let it go. And we're going to reach to the side, hips grounded, feet grounded. And we're going to reach with the other hand, reach into that opposite wall. Rise up toward the sky, and then reach to the opposite side. Remember, we're not collapsing nothing. We're creating the space. We're creating the space. So I'm gonna bring my heel toe, heel toe, big toes together, outsides of the feet parallel. And from here, we're just gonna come down toward the mat. We're just, I'm on hands and knees, so if it feels good to have a blanket on your, under your knees, feel free to place it there or a pillow. We're gonna go into a little bit of cat-cow, inhaling through the nose, energy rising up the spine, pushing away from the mat, bring the head down, releasing the neck, arching in the back, belly button toward the spine. Inhale, drawing the hips up toward the sky, Head comes up toward the sky, creating space in the neck, arching in the back. And reverse cow. 
creating space, pushing away, continuing the breath, sending love to any areas of tension and back into cat, lifting the head, lifting the hips, rotating in the pelvis, releasing in the shoulders, shoulders released away from your ears. And we're going to bring our shoulder toward our hip. So just reaching the shoulder gently toward the hip on one side and release. And we're going to reach toward the other side, other shoulder toward the other hip. Just opening up, feeling that stretch in the side body, feeling the stretch on both sides, belly button toward the spine and release and coming back into cat and cow or if it feels good to go into child's pose, go ahead. Or if it feels good to give a little rotate, to micro adjust and give a little rotate in the hips. Do that. Noticing any tension in your body. And just come on back. What was that freedom in tension that you had at the beginning of the class? Hold it in your heart. Send it throughout your body. Now I want you to draw one knee toward the top of the mat. One knee is bent toward the top of the mat. We're going to bring the instep of your foot toward the other hip. So this is gonna be pigeon pose. I'm just gonna adjust the camera so you can see a little bit better. Yeah, okay. So just drawing one leg forward, the other leg is extended behind. And we're just having both hands on either side of that front knee, opening up in the hips, feeling that stretch in the hips. And on the exhalation, just dipping the head back, releasing the neck, releasing the back of the head, shoulders released away from the ears creating space in your spine. So not collapsing in the lower back, but just simply elongating and relaxing into the stretch. One more breath here, inhaling through the nose, creating this space in the body. And on the exhalation, just releasing a little deeper into the backward bend. Inhale, gaze forward. Shoulders released. And on the exhalation, we're going to lower down. You can come down to the forearms or you can come down all the way. You can even fold your forearms in front of you and just allow your head or your forehead to rest on your folded arms. Breathing here, inhaling, creating space in the lower back, mid back, upper back, belly button toward the spine, shoulders released, lower back released. One more breath here. And if you feel a need to put a blanket under your knee, feel free. If you feel a need to rise up in your hips a little bit with a pillow, feel free. And on the next inhalation, we're going to rise. Rise. Belly button toward the spine. And we're going to switch so that we do the same thing on the other side. So now the opposite knee is going to come forward and the opposite leg is just stretched out and back. And as you're noticing, it's just whatever, however far you can. You may have your, your leg um, with your foot drawn toward your hip. That's where you want to go towards, but just wherever you can. Breathing in through the nose, energy rising up the spine creating the space, elongating in the spine, shoulders released, 
And on the exhalation, just bringing the head and neck back, just releasing in the neck, feeling the stretch in the front of your throat, feeling the stretch in your hips, breathing here. If you're noticing any tension in your neck, just releasing, just so with the intention of love, of relaxation. And inhale, gaze forward. Mm -hmm. And on the exhalation, we're just going to come down and release, bringing the forearms down toward the mat, or if it feels good to fold your hands on top of one another and just rest your head down toward your hands, do that. And just allowing this to be restorative. Inhaling through the nose, energy rising up the spine, lower back released, shoulders released, belly button toward that spine. And on the exhalations, just allowing for any areas of tension to find a point of renewal. One more breath here. Inhaling through the nose, energy rising. What was your freedom and tension again? Come on back. And on the exhalation, just releasing, just letting it all go. Letting it all go. And on the next inhalation, rise. Rise and release. Rise. Now we're going to come to either a seated position or laying down on your mat, whichever feels best to you. And we're going to seal the practice with a little bit of a letting go whether it's sitting or laying down so if you have blankets if you want to have anything with you extra pillows to really allow you to have that relaxation and I'm actually going to hand the metaphorical mic to Coach Soul. Uh, it's, a, it's a real mic. A real mic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and that one <laughs> to Coach Soul. And he's going to walk us through just a, a brief looking. Yeah. A brief looking. So. And already right now, there is see there is perception just be with your seeing right now allowing all of the ex external role-based labels to fall away whether your external role-based identity is i am a mother or I am my job, right? I'm an engineer, whatever. Just allowing those things to step aside for a moment and just be with your seeing. Being in and with your seeing means be here now. This seeing, this perceiving, did not come from the outside and will not go when your attention is pulled away from it. Yet keeping your attention on your seeing allows you to go deeper within yourself than the surface. Who are you? Be 
beyond the mind and its many thoughts and memories, beyond the roles you play, beyond your personality. Who are you? There's no need to create, meditate, don't, don't create, be with your seeing. Allow the mind to be released from their own grasp. And be one with the awareness that remains. Mind cannot be without your awareness, but awareness can be without the mind. Sensations, thoughts, memories, future projections, ideas about the present moment, temperature of the room, the sounds in the background, all of these appearing and disappearing in the eternal awareness. Our universe changing, changing, changing around that which is unchanging, which is your very self. The body sending signals, other people sending ideas. Where does it all land? In just a moment, we will take a deep breath together on the count of three, signifying the end of this silent sitting, silent looking, but it does not signify the end of what you are. The beginning of yoga class did not signify the beginning of what you truly are. All of the changes report to the same unchanging presence of awareness. So after we breathe, after we continue our daily activities, stay with the awareness. Boom. On the count of three, we're going to go in through the nose. We're going to be breathing in peace. And as we breathe out, we're going to breathe out the mouth. We're breathing out the mind, which simply means the distraction from the now. One, two, three, in with peace. Welcome to this moment. Before you go, um, we would love to hear how the session, this yoga session was for you all as well as encourage um, that you send a donation, although it's not required for you to come back next week. Um, it is highly encouraged. 
and to tell you that so where we are why why our background is different we are in my home state of Delaware and we're visiting some of my some of my family that I hadn't seen for a couple years and um, oh I see a chat so many thanks much peace and blessings to everyone back at you back at you many thanks for you coming Yes. Um, and we're having we're having we're having a great time. So we're seeing the family. We're doing well, obviously we're doing food child work as well, and everything um, is going very well. I got I got my grandma working out with us and <laughs> yeah. doing exercises and things. It's really really great. So, um, but just wanted to sort of give you a give you a little update into the food child world. Uh, we've got some great. Great things coming to you via social media and email over the next few weeks. Um, so be on the be on the lookout. And uh, how are you? How are you feeling? How was this session? Intensity, go ahead and put the thing in the chat. For, if you don't mind. Yes, I would love to hear also what was everybody's freedom intention. Mm -hmm. If you're open to ooh, wrong thing, if you're open to share. Hey, that was wonderful for me. My freedom intention this morning was patience framed in love. When you, you, you know, we all need that patience. You know, I need a little extra patience here <laughs> <laughs> in my new life here. Um, but this was wonderful. I definitely need it. And this is what I've been missing. I don't know. I've been missing you guys on Sunday. And I'm glad I'm here. I'm staying here. And I'm excited about tomorrow. Yes. Over that in. <laughs> That's going to be beautiful. Yes, it is. To see you. So you guys are there. It seems like Jackie is just in, in her new oh. world. The world over there yeah. with you. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, but thank you, thank you, thank you. This is just what I needed to get into my day. Appreciate you guys so much. And a powerful freedom intention, patience framed in love. Bless. Yes. Yes. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Megan says in the chat, mine were so her freedom intentions her phrase collectively um confidence capable and love so those were those words that really resonated and those are powerful so thank you for sharing megan and thank you for being here um i'm not sure if you've practiced kinetic yoga in the past but i'm happy that you're here now and May this moment just set the tone for all of the goodness, all of the good body feels, and all of the good self-love feels just to continue to flow through your life, through your experiences, um, wherever you are. Yeah. Hey, Jackie, oh! <laughs> good morning, everyone. This was uh, amazing. Like Judy, just what I needed. And uh, my freedom intention this morning was creative bliss. I've got a lot of creating I need to do uh, to pull together some content. And so I was like, I just need some creative bliss. And the practice certainly um, is, has cultivated that openness that I'll need. So thank you so much. Yes. Wonderful. Go ahead and create that content. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just so you know, Jackie O is also a yoga instructor. Yep. I think you're also now certified in kinetic yoga too, right? Mm -hmm. Hey. Yes. Hey. As of Egypt, fancy yes. fancy. Yeah, I see my picture back there on my my uh on my fireplace, me and Yasir at the pyramid. In the middle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, we have the expanding comedic yoga family here represent today. Represent. I just I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. I took your energy with me to Kemet and uh I'm you know still learning and expanding in the practice, but uh just just appreciate you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. One hundred percent reciprocated. 
Yes. Always. Reciprocal. Reciprocal. Yes. So, with that being said, <laughs> we are going to reconnect. This replay is going to be in the Freedom Tribe Facebook and YouTube, group, and it's also going to be posted on YouTube. So, anytime you want to redo the class or any of the other classes, you can. Um, and the information to donate, if you'd like to make a donation, we are still con collecting donations. And the donations, they go to Ufulu Child, and they also help fuel our mission of feeding more intentionally prepared plant-based meals to kids in the U.S. and in 60 other countries around the world. So I am excited. It's through Food for Life. This is where we donate to. We started in the 70s with some hippies at an ashram in India. So they're like, oh, guru, guru, what should we do? We see so much suffering in the world. All these people don't have food. What should we do? And it's like, feed them. So they're like, OK. <laughs> so, so we started feeding locally prepared plant-based meals, no process, nothing in it to kids and that's what i'm so excited to be able to continue to support so if you feel called to if this is a time where your heart is like yep yep would love to support this would love to support you all feel free to the information is in the chat um oh we just got a message in the chat too okay i'll check it out um <laughs> okay Okay. It's okay. It's okay. You won't be able to make class. It's fine. But um, we will see you again soon. For those of you that are able to join us on Sundays, we'll be back here, same time, same place, on uh, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern on Sundays. So. And then Empower Hour is on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. Uh, on Zoom, same thing. Mm -hmm. And then Friday mornings, we have meditation on Zoom as well. In the morning. Early yeah. morning. So with that being said, love you. All of the love, all of the hugs. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your week, your month, your year, all of the things. Just enjoy your life. Yay. Yes, have fun with your family. <laughs> yes. Bye-bye. Hey, subscribe to us on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Much you. Love. All right.